Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. This is your instructor Joy. Let me first play a tune for you. Um, this was a little extra from the third movement Mendelssohn Violin Concerto. A subscriber uh, requested specifically with this piece asking about spiccato volante, which is also known as a flying spiccato. Thank you very much for your question and thank you all of you for your continuous support and sending me donations, booking lessons with me and uh, sending me also nice comments. I truly appreciate it. So, this spiccato volante, also known as a flying spiccato, is basically a group of spiccato notes in one more direction. In this case, we're doing multiple upper strokes. So, because it's spiccato volante, of course it uses spiccato bow stroke. I made other videos about spiccato specifically, um, so I, I encourage you to check those videos out before you come to here. So spiccato is basically off the string stroke, which means you start away from the string and then allow the bow to bounce. In spiccato volante, we're using not only spiccato bow stroke, but also a little of cole. Also, I made other videos about cole, so I encourage you to check those ones out. Collet movement um, involves a lot of finger joints, so it, this is collet. And now, when we're doing spiccato volante, we're mixing those collet and spiccato movement using, in one direction, spiccato. As you notice, because we have to continuously bounce the bow, it's crucially important for us to know where the bouncing spot is. So, in the bow, about in the middle, from the middle to a little lower half. So, if you divide the bow into four, from the middle, about quarter down, and that would be a good spot for the, uh, to find a bouncing spot. It varies from one bow to the next, so you have to test it by simply throwing the bow, see whether it bounces well or not, and that's how you find your bouncing spot. But general guidance would be good from the middle, a little lower part, that would be good. Um, so, here we're doing multiple stro multiple uppo spiccato and then we're already at the tip. So, but we have to use a lot of bow and then we have to make sure that we come back to the bouncing spot so we can stay bouncing. And then here. Then I bring up bow a lot so that I'm in the bouncing spot again. Yeah. So here, um, it's very important that we don't use a lot of up bows when you do multiple up bows spiccatos. Like this, this would be a common mistake. If you get too closer to the uh, frog, then it's harder to do multiple ones. So while you do multiple up bows spiccato, here, try to come back to the same bouncing spot. So a good exercise would be down bow and use a lot of first bow, two things we're gonna do there. We're gonna bring to the bouncing point, and then we're gonna push a little the first up bow spiccato, which will be helpful for the following spiccato, because it's not the same, um, same movement that goes. The first one gets a little more push, and then the second and third one kind of bounces on its own. So like this, bouncing spot, and then stay, without using too much bow. Again, down. Notice when you do that, you have to use a lot of finger joints as well. And then you can do on each string. Like that. And then see if you can do a little slower. Sorry. bow strokes. So it's a rather difficult bow stroke. So I encourage you to take time, do it slowly, really study the physics of your bow. See where it bounces and when it bounces. Another a short note before I wrap it up. Um, also understand you can, um, if you flatten your bow hair using all the hair on the string, it bounces 
a little more than when you use tilted bow, meaning the hair facing you. So depending if you want a rough sound or if you want a rather uh, gentle sound, and you can decide if you want rough sound or rather jumpy than flutter hair. If you want gentler and piano and then tilt the bow. Yeah. So all those matters, and not only because it um, it creates certain type of sound, but also a mood. Yeah. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching, and hope to see you again. Bye bye.